Okay, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Destiny. As you can see here, we are in the Reef, which is the new social area for House of Wolves. I'm sorry we've been a bit lapsed with the videos. Uh, they will be coming now thick and fast, but what we're going to do here for the first one, just a quick video, we're going to have a tour of the Reef, explain what everything does for any of you who haven't you seen well it yet. So, first of all here is the Queen's Wrath, Petrovenge. However I can help. She is basically our contact for everything in the Reef. Uh, to do with story missions and any new bounties that will appear. Her bounty stop refreshes on the weekly reset, so you can see down there, stop refreshes there. That doesn't mean these are going to change necessarily, they might do, I don't know, but she gets a new set of bounties that will appear at the top. Um, you can level her up here, similar to um, what's she called, Eris, Eris Morn for Crota's End and the Dark Below, uh, and then buy some interesting stuff off her. For anyone who hasn't got the DLC, you will see this. You can all still come here. It's not a locked area. Uh, but the only thing you won't have is this, the Vestian Dynasty, which is the sidearm, which you will see in some future videos. And it is a really, really quite fun gun to use, actually. And yeah, more about that later on. So we'll Queen's leave Petra now and head across you. to this guy here. Varix the Loyal, House of Judgment. So he, this guy is the one of the surviving today. members of an extinct fallen house, and he is helping the Queen in the Reef. Uh, so he translates uh, fallen comms for you when you do your story missions. Uh, he's also the Warden of the Prison of Elders. So in the Prison of Elders uh, missions that you do, Three, uh, three man mission where you go on face waves of waves and waves of enemies. Uh, there'll be some more of that coming out later on today, I think. Either today or tomorrow, it'll be the first one of those. Um, but doing that is similar to doing a raid uh, and the crucible. So that you, it's it's basically the equivalent of the of a new raid, even though there isn't one. Uh, some really cool rewards you're going to get at the end of it. Uh, but similar to the Crucible, by completing missions and, and uh, of different levels and what have you, you gain you gain XP with him. And by gaining XP, you can buy all of these interesting items. Rank one, you need a token of judgment. Now I don't know where you get those from. For these three marks here, um, I haven't seen anyone get a token of judgment. Token of Flight, I have three of these, which is what you need when you get to rank 2 to buy a ship. And then for a shader at rank 3, you need a token of identity, which you can see there, I do have one. The three of those, by the way, in case you're wondering, are in the vault, which I'll show you in a minute. So that's basically the story of Varix. Um, there's a really weird voice and communicates through a servitor when you go into the Perhaps I Prison of Elders, but we'll see more of that later. later. Moving further around, we have a Cryptarch here. It's exactly the same as... Master Rahul in the tower, except he has a bit of a chip on his shoulder about Rahul. Uh, we don't need those there. Uh, as you can see there, Max Glimmer nearly levelled up, actually. I need to find some oh, more engrams. Uh, here, the Queen is behind that door, don't apparently. Stop here. What's, what I find quite cool is this guard stands to attention whenever you walk close to them. And if you move away, they'll stand at ease. There we go. And then if we move back in, stop the wolf pack stand to attention. There we go. Alright, moving further around, we'll head down the stairs. And for anyone who's interested in PvP, this is the guy you want to come and, come and see, if you're interested in the Crucible. Brother Vance. Or Let's Vance, talk. rather. I shouldn't sound posh, I'm Northern. Uh, the Disciple of Osiris. Now, the Trials of Osiris will drop uh, every Friday, and will run from Friday through to Tuesday. Uh, they will basically a PvP based event. So when you come to this guy, as long as you have the House of Wolves DLC, you will get this, the Trials Passage. Uh, so basically your objective is to complete nine matches in the Trials playlist, and win nine matches, that is, before you've lost three. If you lose three, your Trials Passage is wiped away and you have to come back and get a new one and start from scratch. Uh, if you win nine, no, no, I don't think anybody knows what happens if you get nine wins. It's in the uh, reveals trailer, we only got to see seven, where you could buy this summoner auto rifle. Uh, and then obviously that package there, and it is only for eight. 
so and then it goes down so that package is six five three and two so no one knows what nine is I w I'm wondering whether nine is a an even better package but we no we won't know until we start the trials tomorrow trial supplies here so we have favor of Osiris which gives you a win automatically mercy of Osiris which gives you an extra loss effectively and then boon of Osiris which doubles your next win if you win the trials will wait for so you, you, you only have a one game window for that uh, the three ghosts around here I'll show you in a second as well there are three ghosts to collect finally we've got this section here we have a bounty tracker exactly Please the same as in the tower Goodbye. we have a vault exactly the same as it is in the tower oh there are my flight tokens there yeah, tokens of flight and then we have a postmaster exactly the same Shall as I in the take tower a message? Communication uh, stopped the you might be thinking was there any point going back to the tower now there is there's a lot of stuff there that I can't really explain right now I haven't got time to do it in this video but at some point I'll definitely do one and show you all the updates for the tower that make the tower still an appropriate place to go now the ghosts in this tower in this tower in the reef first one if you follow what I've done here jump up onto that spherical spherical cylindrical thing there and then up onto these pipes run along to the end and it's in this net here you can collect that uh, the second one if we head back up to the cryptarch if you do a little bit of parkour on these boxes here to make you watch the up to there try not to fail like I am onto there then to here and then if you look around this corner and jump onto the roof there is a ghost right where I'm standing now and I've already got them all I should have waited and shown you guys them but uh, curiosity killed me and I just got them so from there the third and final ghost I suggest you get this one last because you do have to kill yourself to do it or you get it as you're about to leave uh, if you jump from here onto that girder there not like that so that you die <laughs> me being an idiot but if you jump onto that beam crouch so that you can move past the uh, the slings underneath I'm doing a really bad job at this you know, I haven't failed this jump once and then when I come to record it I fail the jump so many times right so we make the jump land it there we go crouch so you can move through the slings and it's on this far end here so that's the, basically the tour of the reef done guys I hope you have enjoyed it hope you're going to see you in the reef sometime soon if you have liked it and enjoyed it make sure to hit that like button I'm always happy to hear comments down below if you're new on here hit the subscribe button no share your support in with the guardians. Uh, share the video and all the usual stuff and uh, I'll see you next time where we will be ta tackling the prison of elders insert twilight zone music here if you know what that is if not insert some suitably crazy music there anyway guys thank you again very much for watching and i'll see you next time